Let's talk about the Arizona Department of Health Services saying the COVID patients are currently occupying about 28% of our inpatient beds right now and 41% of ICU beds. Data also showing 71% of ER beds are in use along with 44% of the state's ventilators. All this just before a big holiday travel week. Yeah, so get this, the TSA report screening more than 2 million passengers for the past four days in a row. So we want to check in with Kylie, who's at the airport right now as the travel rush continues. Good morning. Good morning. It is definitely going to pick up this week. Sky Harbor tells me that Wednesday and Thursday, so we're talking about the 22nd and the 23rd, will be the busiest this week. Still, we're seeing some lines this morning as we give you a live look at security checkpoint A, kind of a steady stream of people, but nothing too crazy as of 7.30 this morning. You know, if you are headed out of town today or sometime this week, keep in mind that some states have different rules when it comes to COVID and restrictions. So if you're going to California, you're required to wear a mask indoors in most areas. Same goes for seven other states like New York and Washington. Speaking of New York and New York City, to do anything indoors, you have to show you've had at least one vaccine dosed and next week you're going to have to prove that you're fully vaccinated. We know in New York, obviously Omicron hitting that area hard and they have seen shows and theaters canceling performances. So just keep in mind your plans may change. Some travelers out there are taking extra precautions before they hop on a plane or maybe drive to grandma's house. They're getting tested before heading out of town. We know that in many parts of the country, the demand for testing is increasing because of Omicron, leading to some long lines at test sites. The state health department here in Arizona says testing has remained steady the last six to seven weeks. Embry Health runs 90 testing sites in the state, and the CEO tells me about 12,000 people are getting tested a day across Arizona, and that number expected to really jump this week. So we absolutely uh, expect to see a dramatic increase in the number of, number of people coming out to get tested this week, especially those folks who are going to want uh, results very quickly. You know, one of my biggest things is not to wait till the last minute. So if you do want to maybe take a test for some peace of mind before heading out, you're leaving midweek, you want to do it today. At most of Embry's testing sites in the state, walk-ins, they say, are welcome. Even if there aren't any appointments showing up online, they'd say that turnaround is about 24 hours or less for a PCR test. So probably best to take that test if you do want to a couple of days before. As for TSA, as we give you a live look at the line, they just tweeted out that agents are expected to screen nearly 30 million people. 30 million, that's a huge number, between today and January 3rd. So if you are flying out, we hope you have a great time and a safe time but just keep in mind guys the gates are going to be busy the lines are going to be busy so give yourself some extra time and it might be corny but it's true you want to pack your patience <laughs> definitely uh it's it's the holiday spirit right you'll be sharing <laughs> with just so many strangers it's a communal <laughs> event think of it that way uh, thanks Kelly. thanks Kelly.